Alaikum Salaam Alaikum. Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's such a pleasure to be with you uh, this morning in opening this amazing event uh, that is organized by uh, Women in Cybersecurity Group, Wixby. I would like to personally thank them uh, so much uh, for the great offer, effort that they did in this event. Um, personally, uh, I witnessed a great impact uh, before the event, during the event, and I'm sure that uh, people will link to what is, has been discussed and uh, talked about at uh, Wixme group uh, event. So uh, thank you for having me. Again, it's a pleasure to be the keynote uh, speaker and to open uh, this morning uh, discussion um, with Wixme group. Let me start by highlighting why this kind of event is very important. Um, this kind of event, it will create a strong network between cybersecurity females and cybersecurity experts, uh, young females who is thinking whether to join cybersecurity or uh, to go in a different direction. So this kind of events really, it will create this strong networks. It will um, um, exchange knowledge between experts and even transfer this knowledge between them. Also, you will be seeing real examples of ladies who are shining uh, in cybersecurity, um, who are uh, uh, really uh, doing great job when it comes to cybersecurity or technology in general. Uh, to be honest, when I started my uh, path in cybersecurity, and I don't want to look old, but it was a couple of years ago, um, it's, I don't remember or recalling any kind of cybersecurity event uh, related to females and especially in the Middle East. So imagine how proud we are to have such an event uh, for females in cybersecurity in the Middle East. Um, also, this kind of events, it will inspire young generation. Uh, it's a great platform to um, uh, give direction to whoever is looking into getting into the cybersecurity field. So uh, please make the most of it. And this is uh, directed to the young uh, females who's uh, joining us this morning. Enjoy the event. Uh, try to attend as much as possible of these uh, talks and discussion because these are females uh, experts in cybersecurity and working in the same uh, region that you are working in and um, they will give you and they will transfer their experience to you. Um, finally, this kind of event, it's, it's like a pool of talents. Uh, whenever we look at companies in cybersecurity and we see them lacking females in cybersecurity and when you ask them, they said, well, we tried finding females in cybersecurity, but we couldn't find. So I think this kind of uh, events is the best place to uh, find females uh, in cybersecurity. I'm not encouraging anyone to leave their jobs or to move to any company, but um, this kind of uh, events, it will give you the right platform to shine. So again, please the, make the most of it. And thank you again for Women in Cybersecurity Group for giving us the opportunity to be part of um, such an amazing event. Um, let me start as um, a cybersecurity event with the challenges that we are facing. So what I'm going to address today is females in cybersecurity as leaders and uh, uh, leading the future, having females in a leadership positions. But let's look at the wider picture. Let's look at um, the higher problems and challenges that we have in the cybersecurity field. So as a cybersecurity expert, we all know that uh, it's getting more and more challenging. We're facing problems in, um, in managing uh, 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 cybersecurity attacks. Um, the attacks is getting more sophisticated. Uh, cybersecurity is, uh, they're getting, uh, cyber hackers, they're getting more creative and that's making uh, the, the role of cybersecurity uh, experts more even, even more challenging. So we all know that um, the gap between cybersecurity uh, 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 jobs and skills is getting just bigger. Um, there will be so many unfilled jobs in cybersecurity uh, field in the coming years. So the more challenges 
challenging the cybersecurity uh, is getting, the more worries we are because um, we don't have enough experts in cybersecurity. Um, and when we go to the gender gap in cybersecurity um, uh, professionals, it's even bigger. Um, we don't have really um, a satisfying number of females in cybersecurity. Um, and this is a, a challenging. It's um, it, it's 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 getting big. It's getting um, um, higher. Uh, we're getting there, but still, um, we're not in an equal position with our co colleagues, the men in cybersecurity. Um, and this is the challenge. Uh, we're facing a gap in the cybersecurity skills in general. Yet we are facing a, a, a higher gap in the gender when it comes to cybersecurity. And when we look at these uh, challenges, we wonder, what about females in cybersecurity uh, leadership positions? Um, going back to the uh, uh, gender gap, we need uh, to understand also why females are not going into cybersecurity. And uh, it's not really just about cybersecurity, it's about technology. I don't see personally when I speak about, let's say in Saudi, I don't think we have a problem in convincing females to get into um, uh, technical uh, majors. Um, uh, we have uh, more than 50% graduates, females graduates in technology than men. But the problem is that they don't go or pursue their careers in technology or in uh, digital careers. Uh, for some reason, they switch to other um, fields. Um, they don't work in technology, and this is the challenge. Personally, my opinion is that when they don't see role models or when they don't see females uh, succeeding in that field, they don't get inspired. So they will be uh, directed easily uh, away from their major. So that's what we really need to discuss why we don't have enough females working in technology and why don't we have enough females as leaders in technology and this is really what is um, uh, something that i'm worried about and i would like really to discuss um, um, these challenges and to come as a community and to address these challenges and how can we overcome it now, when we talk about cybersecurity and technology, it's very similar. Now, cybersecurity is a sub, a sub major from um, the technology, right? Um, uh, you can see um, females in digital transformation, you can find females in different kinds of technologies, but cybersecurity is very specified uh, field of uh, um, the technology or the STEM. When we talk about cybersecurity nowadays, we talk about uh, the future of war. Um, cyber attacks is not uh, like what we used to talk about it, let's say 10 years ago. It wasn't trending like now. It wasn't uh, worrying like now. And the reason behind that is that um, countries are using cybersecurity attacks to um, uh, between each other. It's the new type of war. And this is something that is known and addressed by so many um, countries worldwide. Um, it's even in the national cybersecurity strategies sometimes, if we got hacked or we, if we got cyber attacks from a country, we're gonna head back. It's not just a defense strategy, it's an offensive strategy and it's, it's announced everywhere. So it's really very um, um, uh, worrying uh, field. And um, when we think about a war, usually you think about weapons and militaries and uh, men in the field try to uh, fight, but the new war is just technical wars and cyber attacks. Now, I remember reading um, a quote or actually it was a tweet from um, uh, a female who used to work in the Ministry of Defense, I really don't call which country it was, but she says, a um, couple of years ago, not a couple of years, I would say um, a decade ago, um, 
when the war was really about um, the physical weapons, um, they will direct females to work on computers because it's more peaceful. It does not necessarily needs a lot of physical strength. So uh, most of the female uh, were working and in charge of the uh, PCs and the computers. Nowadays, the cyber security um, department is run by females because um, they develop their capabilities in that uh, field and that's where they are stronger now and that's where they are leading as females. Uh, but really, um, um, the female uh, in cybersecurity as a leader is an international challenge. When I say women in cybersecurity as a leader, it's not just in the MENA region, it's not just in the um, eastern side of the world or the western side of the world, it's, it's an international challenge. Um, and we really need to address it and we really need to find solution for it. So. In order to lead such a sophisticated and um, a dangerous world, you need to, 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 to gain confidence and to uh, be responsible of this war. And that's why I think, in my opinion, why females, um, the female usually, it's, they, they look at a female that it's a soft, a soft and uh, emotional person. But really, when it comes to cybersecurity, we need to show them that it's all about how you're strong in your mind and how you can think strongly and strategically. And this is really, I believe, the why females in cybersecurity find challenge as a leader. But also, I believe that we're getting there. Uh, we can see great examples of female leaders in cybersecurity. We're just not happy about the number, we need more of them. Now, if we want to um, address um, females in cybersecurity um, as leader, um, we need to talk about um, what is the skills that um, a female need to gain in order for her um, um, to be seen as a leader in the digital field. Um, Again, I don't want to focus on um, just cybersecurity because, as I said, cybersecurity is a very sophisticated and very critical area um, that's not easy for a female to um, lead in or to gain confidence in leading, yet we are uh, gaining this confidence. However, um, I think the challenge is, is globally. I think the challenge is on all digital um, um, uh, fields. Um, I was speaking in one of the EU uh, conferences about minimizing the gap in um, gender gap in cybersecurity. And um, I keep on saying it's not just cybersecurity, it's the digital field in, in general. Um, I don't know why we, um, as females, and maybe this is again because not seeing real, real or uh, example of role models and leaders in technology, that's why we're not getting the enough numbers. However, again, saying that, I think going back to our uh, list of speakers of today's event, I'm, I'm very proud and happy, and I think we are uh, getting there even in the, in, in the matter of numbers. So the, thing, the first thing that I would advise, and these advices is coming from a personal experience here, so I think gaining confidence is very important. Um, a female that does not think that I'm not getting this opportunities because I'm a female, I'm not getting this opportunity. The other one is because they're not looking at me as a strong person because I'm a female again. Um, we need to stop thinking about this and we need to stop thinking about it this way because when you show your vulnerabilities, um, you will show your weakness. Um, and this can be seen through as a leader. Um, so being confident is very important. Uh, being confident that, yes, I am right for this place. I am right for this position. I can achieve, I can deliver. And this is very, very, very important on how people will receive you. Uh, believe me, confident can be seen. And um, no matter how much skilled you are, 
no matter how much technical knowledge you have, if you're not confident enough, you're not going to get it. So being a leader is in a different level. It's, it's really leading people, leading a project, leading an organization. So I think confident is com it comes in number one. We need to be confident about ourselves that um, we deserve this. And on the point of not thinking about getting uh, some um, positions because you're a female, I think we really need to stop thinking about this. And you need to think, personally, what I do is that when I face a problem and I get this thinking is that because I'm a female, I'm not getting this. I always think the other way around. If I were a man, what would I do, right? So usually it's the same thing, but it's just to slow down the feeling that I'm, I'm getting. Second, I think it's very important to show your capability. Um, a lot of people, and this is something that I do personally, a lot of people says, well, I got a degree, I got a certification in that matter, I am qualified, yet uh, I'm not chosen for these positions. I'm not uh, seen as a leader. Well, if you don't show your capabilities, um, if you don't, as simple as participating in such events, um, and talking and showing your knowledge and showing how good you are and how, how capable you are of of, uh, of, of leading um, um, a project and leading people, it's very important to be seen as a leader. Now, again, it's, it's all about personality. And this guide me to the second, third point of being proactive and be a leader. Um, yes, we have a technical skills. You did not reach to this level of success and you are considering yourself as a leader unless you succeed as a technical person and you know all the technicality behind it. But being a leader is being on a different level. Being a leader is like you're acting as an executive. You need to think like a leader. You need to be proactive. You don't wait for the problem to happen in order to solve it. You think about the problem before it happens. And um, you think about your organization in a proactive way. Try to get out, and this is a message for all the technical people. From my experience, I work now in the um, 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 developing executives in technology. And this is an interesting thing that I never thought I would be in, but it's, it's not easy to... Um, uh, uh, develop an executives in technology. Now, the challenges that we faced that the number of technical people reaching uh, a leadership positions is low. Now, see how the lower percentage we're getting. It's not just because you're a female, it's also because you're a technical person. Technical people known as they deal with PCs and computers all the time. Therefore, it might impact their uh, communication skills. It might impact their presentation skills. It, it might impact um, um, their thinking because they're working with PCs and computers all the time. And this is a real challenge and we need to admit it. Um, so what do we do in this, in this matter is that we need to, um, if you see yourself going to be um, um, a leader, you need to think in more strategic way, um, less technical and more strategic. And think about the executive's, let's say, competencies. What do you need to be, what do you need to have in order to be an executive, a leader? You need to have the strategic thinking capabilities. You need to have the digital leadership capabilities. You need to have the executive presence. It's all about how you speak, how you communicate with others, how you really um, 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 discuss a problem and, um, um, uh, and an argument. How do you deliver your argument? How can you successfully uh, um, convince something with your, someone with your thinking? So really, if you are thinking to be a leader, you need to start living the experience. 
I always, um, I'm lucky to have an amazing coach who keep on giving me these, um, uh, these, uh, these advices. And um, again, it's not about how good you are technically, it's about how good you are as an executive who knows uh, technical things and who knows, who have the required technical knowledge. Some females will think, well, I have a PhD in cybersecurity. I have this professional degree. I did this project. I successfully programmed this, pro uh, successfully created this program. This is not enough to be as a leader. This is an amazing thing to be an expert, uh, but you need to, um, if you wish, now we come to that point because some people, um, they are satisfied and happy to be an expert. And this is a, a, a very important point um, to know and understand yourself. Are you an expert and you need to shine and grow your career as an expert or you want to be a leader in your field? Again, if you are thinking to be a leader, you need to have an executive's uh, uh, leadership skills, which is strategic thinking. You need to have uh, the right relationships. Um, you need to communicate with people, understand people, um, develop your emotional intelligence. Um, I know we, as a cybersecurity, we understand the threat intelligence, but we need to master the emotional intelligence in order to succeed as a leader. Nevertheless, you need to keep learning um, what is the latest um, um, in cybersecurity. I always tell them that uh, cybersecurity is very challenging. If you stop learning, um, you will be outdated. Um, ha hackers, they keep on coming up with always a new ways of um, hacking uh, systems and attacking uh, organizations. Yet, uh, uh, I know that I said we need to be less technical and more strategic, but that does not mean that we move away from our field. We need to keep on learning and update ourselves with the latest technologies through the news. Um, I'm not saying keep on practicing, uh, well, you need to keep on practicing uh, cybersecurity, but um, uh, in, 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 in a strategic uh, level. Next is, um, it's okay to fail. Um, some females, they are terrified of being to considered as a failure. If you don't fail, then there's something wrong. Um, uh, the success journey is a combination of a failure uh, point in your life. Um, it's okay to fail. Uh, you should accept failure um, and it should not impact you. Definitely, it's you, it will have a negative um, uh, impact on you, but it should be for uh, a period of time and then you pick up yourself and continue your success journey because um, your success is our success as females. Um, you need to understand really that when a female is uh, successing in her job, um, that means that we are all successing as a female. You are representing us uh, as females. You are creating a, a role model for females in the region, in cybersecurity, and globally, really. Um, I can see whenever a female is uh, succeeding, and this is, again, personally um, uh, experienced. I experience this personally. Whenever I see a female succeeding in cybersecurity, I'm so happy because this is a proof that it doesn't matter if you're a female and male or male, um, you are succeeding. And um, so really, your success is our success. So um, it's OK to fail. Again, it's OK to um, um, stop for a while and um, reset yourself and then continue the journey of success. Um, one of the key important things also as a leader that you need to do is to uh, mentor young generation. Um, it's very important to connect with others. It's very important to connect, especially with younger generation, whether um, they just started their career or they're a step um, just before you or 
mentorship is a two-way learning, I would say. I enjoy mentorship because I don't believe it's a one-way um, or one direction of learning and mentorship. It's two ways because you really think how the new generation or understand how the new generation are thinking and you learn from them and you adapt. And this is what we want uh, to deliver. Um, and this is also one of the great things that the women in cybersecurity in the Middle East, Wixme is, um, is creating is the mentorship program. And this is, uh, I think it's an important milestone for the group because mentoring is, a, is, 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 is an important thing. Um, when a young uh, female is thinking uh, to join um, the, the career of a cybersecurity expert, she will face a lot of challenges. She will face a lot that really might impact her and direct her away from the field. And this is what we don't want. But if she find really um, uh, an advice from a senior person who went through a similar experience, this will definitely make a difference. So I would encourage every, every cybersecurity expert, whether they are a leader or to find um, 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 a young uh, female and start mentoring. Mentoring does not require a lot. It's just hearing them out and try to think with them loudly on how they can overcome the challenges they face. Again, um, and most, more importantly is that um, this kind of groups um, and this kind of network, being part of a female networks or a, a professional network. Now, if you look at <laughs> myself, to be honest, I don't really um, try to talk a lot about um, female empowerment. My way of leading is to lead by example. If I am a role model for others and they can see me as a successful female in the field, I'm sure I will inspire them to reach uh, to where I am or maybe higher or maybe bigger. So um, connecting with others in groups um, um, is very important. Um, the impact that the group is doing is very important. Women in cybersecurity and Middle East Wixme group is doing a great job in this matter. They're having a very um, a positive, they are creating a positive impact when it comes to uh, empowering each other. Uh, we share success stories, we share challenges, we share experience together. Whenever a female is uh, uh, leading a project, you will see everyone is behind her and encouraging her. Whenever a female is finding a challenge, you will feel everyone is running into helping her and encouraging her. and finding solution for her to overcome this challenge. This kind of groups is very important. Being part of this kind of group, again, is very important. Seen as a, a leader in the community is very important. Um, females and young generation really will link to you. And I see that personally in my experience. I got a lot of um, um, requests from uh, male and females, to be honest, whether to join cybersecurity and what are the challenges. And I always, this is my advice to everyone. Um, if you think you enjoy it and you can handle the pressure, then this is the right place for you. If you are joining it just because it's trendy, then this is not the right place. Because I believe if you love what you do, you will do a, a, a wonder in your job, no matter where you are and what you are doing. Um, finally, I think uh, to encourage everyone um, to get into the cybersecurity field, to be seen as a leader, um, this is an important thing I would advise. Enjoy life. Um, don't make your work, your life. Um, you need to reset yourself. You need to enjoy life. You need to be seen as a human being who's uh, contributing to the community, contributing to the country, again, and most importantly, contributing to yourself. If you overwhelm yourself with um, thinking about the challenges and thinking about the obstacles, trying to prove yourself, that you are good enough, I think um, this is not the right way of doing it. Um, you don't need to overwhelm yourself. Just be yourself.
be confident and act like a leader. When you start acting it and start behaving like a leader, believe me, people will start seeing you as a leader and you will get a lot of offers, believe me. So um, I hope that I uh, address these challenges. Uh, I hope that I shared some of my um, key points of uh, um, how to become a leader. Um, again, I'm not a coach, an executive coach, but yet I, can, I shared with you some of the things that I went through personally. I failed. Um, I changed my major a couple of times. Um, I was at some point thinking so technically, um, thinking about achieving and successing in life and through technical projects, through achieving projects, until someone came to me and he told me that they're not seeing you as a leader because you are too technical. You need to look around at your organization and look around how you can succeed um, as, a, as a company, as a business, and um, not just as a technical person. So if you wish to be, um, and, and, and if it's the right time, and this is again an important point, um, you should not jump the ladder just because you think, well, I have the leadership skills. You need to take it step by step and get there slowly and steady and with the right requirements. We don't want, again, I said that your success is our success, but again, if you rush into things, it might not uh, be on your uh, side or it might impact you negatively. And that's what happens for some of the people. They say they want to jump the ladders and they want to reach because and this is a challenge because the the lack of cybersecurity skills and experts create so many positions for young generation that they might skip some steps in order to uh, reach the leadership positions. And that's really challenging. You need not to think only about um, the packages that you're getting, not only about the positions and the title, you need to think whether it's the right time for you or not. Um, again, I would like to think um, the amazing group, uh, Wixley, Women in Cybersecurity, for this amazing opportunities. I'm honored, really, to be part of this group uh, personally. Um, I learn a lot from it. I uh, uh, share a lot of knowledge and learn from others' experience. So thank you again. And uh, wish you a successful event. And uh, please enjoy it and make the most of it. Thank you. 